Hey, Welcome back to Shari Mustafiz and we are just chilling and we're gonna talk to Tuck, Ada Tucker. And last time she gave us the exposition dump that someone out there is looking like Sarah or someone. So let's see what she has to say. She has no jobs. Okay, I take that back. Okay, let's see. All of a sudden I'm walking. I'm walking here. So we gave the drugs, Leon's hey, drugs, going? to her, and we're going to try and gain her trust. I'm not a big fan of Copeland to begin with. So let's see what we can do. The kitchen. Mm. Sell all. That's it for now. And then what else can we do here? Let's see, bounties. There's just gonna be bounties. Last time I saw Boozer was a few weeks ago. He's still around. He, uh, same as ever. Guess he's just been busy. Heard a rumor that he got hurt or something. That's just Tucker making shit up. He's fine. Sure. Interesting. So it seems that people are really keen about learning about Boozer and what happened to him. Uh, and for some reason, uh, Deacon keeps hiding. I uh, just hiding him. Let's see. What else is there to do story mission wise? We can clear out an ambush camp. We don't need to do that right now. Story wise, let's check out what we need to do. We just finished in the last video the Le chasing Leon storyline. It looks like we're going to be clearing out three of these objectives progress wise. Dealing with my past. Remember custom action. Blah, blah, blah. Looks like this is going to be a separate walkthrough this time. We're going to be... Not walkthrough. Like I said, this is a playthrough. Looks like we're just going to be... Clearing out a camp this today. Let's see if we can do that without messing up. Actually, we Loser. didn't check out. Where the hell aren't you in your damn bunk? I couldn't sleep. Back in the tunnel. Don't out go out there, Nick. It's, it's making you crazy. Boozer, I... Okay, look. I go up there because there's freaks up there. I kill them here, I kill them there. Bounties are all the same. Then what are the tools for? Huh? I saw them, Dick. Here on the table. This morning. The same one she had at the wedding. I remember. I'm not gonna... Listen, Boozer. Get some rest. I gotta go. Peeking out. And I'm okay. Tulip's boozer. There's stone crop. Like Get it right. I know. You got a problem? It's the best I can do. Seems that boozer's not doing too well. Hopefully, he doesn't go become delusional or something. Let's see supplies. Uh, not buying today. Looks like I can't really buy stuff Thanks. from him. Hope says you've been helping out around the camp. We'll say that, uh, but he appreciates it. What's up, Manny? That I have. Let's see. Reduces bike noise, making it harder. To... Yeah, I need that for I'll sure. Wrap that up for you. Let's see. What else can I upgrade to? Best level two. Gas tank. Gas tank level three. Let's see. Can we? Yes, we can get a new, better frame. Ooh. Need anything else? Nitrous. Already got nitrous equipped. Looks oh, like yeah, we're finally getting nice. somewhere with the bike. Uh, I need 1002. Let's see, visual upgrades. What can I do here? Headlights. It doesn't really affect the durability that much. Interesting. And then it gives you a little front gator, a little shroud. Actually, what does a shroud do? Nothing much. And then paint. Standard. Glossy. Let's see. Is there accents, decals that I can put on? Actually, that's not. Should have that's not stuff later. Useful to me no, at no, all. I'll keep an eye out for more shit. What's up? See you looking. Let's see, can I talk to 
Nope. Looks like he doesn't have anything to do either. What do you need? What's up? Nine percent. Hey. Yeah, it looks hey, like I'm gonna be spending some money. Happy with you. Looks like we're gonna have to spend you don't some. Run out of fuel in the shit. That's for sure. That was a lot of money for. Back to work. Just some gas station. Hey, Boozer, I'm home. <laughs> All right, looks like Tucker has a job for me. I'll get to it right. In St. John, this is Tucker. Like I said before. I haven't seen Boozer Sweet Face around these last few days. You sure he's alright? This is Deacon. Boozer's fine. Like I said, he's just been busy. Doing runs for that son of a bitch Mark Copeland, no doubt. I get the feeling he doesn't like me much. Boozer, I mean. Like I said, I ain't his old lady. Deacon out. <laughs> I think Tucker has, a, has the hots for uh, Boozer. <laughs> Let's see, let's check out if Boozer has some supplies for me. Ready? Actually, you should take a nap. No, he doesn't have anything really ready for me today. Alright, after a little nap, after checking on Boozer, he seems to be alright right now. I'm gonna head out and see what Tucker has for me in store. Tucker to Deacon St. John. Are you listening? I talked to al the other day, some of the other men. I know you've been doing runs for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. Oh, uh, you're welcome. I think I like Tucker more than uh, Copeland. Copeland seems like a doomsday. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth. Speaking of Copeland, here he goes. Broke another goddamn razor this morning. In our supposed global utopia, instead of getting the best products from around the world. The shittiest products cheap foreign labor could churn out. Everything in the last 50 years was built to break so that you could buy once, buy again, buy, buy, buy. You always had to get the new car, the new phone, the new this and that, all to feed the beast of crass commercialism. You want something built to last? You couldn't go overseas, nope. You need real, hard-working Americans at the helm. When we build something, stand the test of time and the same hands that built this country they'll withstand anything this new world throws at us our roads bend friends but they do not break and neither will we this is mark copeland for radio free oregon don't believe the lies they look pretty huh. broken to me cop but hey whatever you say There's nothing wrong with a little crass commercialism help I could use a new bike right about now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I love I'm loving Deacon. I do kind of agree with a little bit of Mark Copeland saying that things are built to not really last. There's an interesting article about uh, the original Febreze scented uh, thing that I read the other day where it works so well that nobody bought it. So they changed the formula up a little to work. So, and of course, you know, if you have a smartphone or gear at all these days everything breaks even right now we're looking at the rise of the cryptocurrency creating like just this kind of like despair in the market and of course e vehicles and all this good stuff it's kind of ruining it for everyone i don't want to rant about that but that it is the way it is okay it's gonna chill Oh man, those there's bodies here from when I killed them earlier in part in the last part, interesting enough. I'm surprised that's still here. I mean they're here. Like I remember shooting this guy. His gun's still here. Wow. You know, I appreciate that kind of continuity. I like that. God damn it. Right, open it up. He's okay. Let's see what uh Tucker has for us. Gonna have to talk to her. Check out what we got. So she's in the back over there. Oh no, here she is. Can I help you? Camp jobs. Encampment leaders often contract out work they need done. Completing these missions and jobs rewards you with encampment trust and credit. Listen to the radio calls and find out 
for new missions, okay? D, you ever ride with a drifter, scars all over his face, carries a tire iron, goes by the name of Limbo? Don't know him. He came into camp yesterday to turn in some bounties, have a few drinks. Seems like he didn't leave until Get early this morning. Well, Tuck, I don't run security here, hey, so why don't you just tell Alki about that? He beat a man, Deke, hey, no, and a no, woman no, no. to death, oh, Bowman and Hewitt. Her face was so smashed in, you couldn't tell it was her. Hewitt, oh, Maria, right? Oh, Jesus. This asshole, Limbo, he's a little... Alki says they've set up shop at the old Forest Service watchtower on the east slope of Three Finger Jack. Yep, I know where it is, and, uh, I'll handle it. I thought you might. It looks like we're handling a bounty. Uh, nice and bloody. Let's see if Alki has anything to sell to me. Deacon? What's happening? What, what are you looking for? Hmm. Still at level MWS sidearms. Oh, okay. These little stubbies count as sidearms. Sweet. Supplies. What else can I do that. for you? Find me if you need anything else. All Thanks, right. Deacon. Let's get on our way. I bet I'm gonna have to buy some hey, gas. What do you need? Uh, just having a look. Uh, it's unfortunate that you, you feel like that. Check back. See you around. Hold on. I'll get it. Get out of my way. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to do some searching around here. Actually, it's been a while since I actually did a little search around in these parts. Got a rub cage, literally. Okay, that was pretty stressful. <laughs> I mean, it is a survival game after all. And you know, should I? I yeah, let's repair my machete. Ah, that is so cool. I mean, I did not expect that detail at all, but. That's pretty cool that they left that in, you know, I was seeing bodies and cars and then like some of them just reanimate out of nowhere or like in the first part of my gameplay where I freaked out about like a little kid zombie just uh, just uh, jumping out like, okay. Yeah, just got to make sure, you know, <laughs> I mean, you can tell which ones which is dead or long gone, but still better safe than sorry. Seems to be something out here on the map. Let's see, I'm a little bit far away from my intended area. Let's see. You know what, I'm, yeah, I just need to locate my bike. Oh, I'm out of, yeah, out of uh, stamina. I wonder if I have a focus cocktail. I'm feeling that we're gonna get a jump scare. Maybe, maybe not. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Oh gosh. I was like, are we gonna get a jump scare? And then immediately there was like, I didn't notice there was a zombie. Or freaker, whatever they call these things. Right next to me. I already have enough uh, meds, I guess. And they were all over there. I'm out. Nope. Bounty targets. Bounty targets are murderers and wanted at survivor encampments. Complete a bounty job, locate and take out your target. Return with proof of death. Okay, looks like I'm killing some people. 
gonna be a legit bounty hunter. Okay, okay. I'm gonna park myself up here. Actually, drive myself up. Look at him through a binocular. With my binos. Oh no. I've been spotted one thing for sure. I'm here, and yeah, looks like Limbo and his Man, crew. Come on. Come on. Now, that wasn't what I planned for. Hey, Tuck, I'm here, and yeah, looks like Limbo and his crew are calling the place home like nothing ever happened. You said his face was scarred. So, uh, I mean, more, please. What else can you tell me? He wears a green coat. Looks like a goddamn leprechaun. Give me his tire iron, Deacon St. John, and I want it covered in what's left of the son of a bitch's face. Uh, St. John out. He's got okay, a I'm hunkered down here. Yeah, move up a little bit closer. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it, ducked at the last second. That's a headshot right there. Let's see if we can just get him from here. One more shot to do it. Oops, he moved. Let's see, I only got six shots left. There we go, down he goes. Now I just need to get his proof that I killed him. Let's see, one more shot. The shooting is really feedback, like, has a lot of good feedback though, I'll admit. When it counts. Gotcha. Gotcha where? Come on, stop moving. It's really not, doesn't lend itself to really good shooting mechanics because you're... Yeah, to stop by the hot but thank goodness you can just like W, spam left and right. Come on. There you go. on fire for sure. Just gonna loot the bodies. For a harder difficulty game that I scaled up, it's pretty alright. What's this? There was like a random skeleton on the ground. Let's see, okay. Just gonna craft some Molotovs. Check out what they have in the storeroom. Doesn't look like there's a lot. Yes, need some fuel. I'm gonna actually throw that out in the front and try not to forget to grab it on the way out. Yeah, this guy deserves to die since he killed two innocent people. Oh gosh! Where'd that person come from? Oh no. What you run for? How? I didn't even notice that there were people still up there. I'm gonna have to clear them out. Hopefully that doesn't spread. That should get rid of you. And that should have... You should have burned. Hopefully that's the guy. I know this was the guy. He was right here all along. Still got old iron tooth on you, yeah. Let's see. There's a motorcycle thing coming through. Oh no! What's going on here? Shit! Damn it! Find him! Looks like we're hunkering down here, boys.
can't get a, I can't get an angle on them. Finally, Jesus. See, maybe. Yeet. Yeesh. They're really confused for sure. Headshot. Oh. oh no. Ah. This is really clunky when it when it doesn't matter. I don't even know where that shot came from, to be honest. Oh, he just burned himself. Hopefully that was the last of them. I could have played that a lot more better, but I messed up big time. You gotta loot everybody. You got, you know, survival of the fittest. Let's see, this guy had some stuff. Well, I guess that's about it for this area. Let's get out of here. Hoping there would be some more ammo or something to deal with. Actually, let's drop this and check out what there's, if there's any ammo stashes up here. I had a sniper rifle. Don't need that right now, though. Oh, no, no, no. Ah! Oh, no. Okay. That was close. Come on, I'm shooting you in the head, Loki. There's another one. Dang it. Don't got anything else to use. Nope. Amount of ammo here and there. <laughs> Hopefully this was... Oh no, that was a bad idea. Look out! My goodness. Oh no, there's another one. How are you not dead? That was a mess. That was a total mess. Man. I mean, I guess like with the skill of difficulty, uh, that, that was bound to happen, but man, they should not have been wandering that close to a camp encampment. I have no ammo for anything right now. I don't like those screams either. This. I think we still got our gas. That's all that counts. Get our bike and let's be on our way.
Well, let's go, open up. All right, gate, so now we're no back way. at camp. Hey, let's go tuck to Tucker. Just to drop some bounties off earlier. Business is good. You here for your bike? Hey, what's up? Yeah. All right, here you go, Tucker. Okay. You find that son of a bitch? Yeah, here's old Iron Tooth, just like you asked. Ah, nice work. Deke, you're always the one person I could count on to get things done. <laughs> you know, I have no idea where you and Boozer rode off to, but it's good to see you. Well, we're around, Tuck, and if you need anything, you know how to reach me. Go see Alka. Yeah, I'll update your credits. Sweet. I wonder if that gets us to level 2 so I can buy some better guns now. Bounty Hunter, Gold, if you are a murderer or worse, someone pays me to take you out. You're already dead. Just don't know it. <laughs> okay. Storylines. Where am I with all the storylines? 29%. I guess I gotta complete some more open world objectives before I can do more stuff. Finish Leon in the last video, so... I think that's about it for this one. Pretty sure we're done. Uh, with this part. And, well, I guess I'll call it here. Like I said, I try to keep these videos shorter and try not to go longer. It's been a while since I've done a playthrough. Nevertheless, if you made it this far, you're a real one. Don't forget to leave a comment below, leave a like. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out when I upload a video. I have more Days Gone content coming out along with a lot more other stuff. And don't forget to support me by checking out the links in the description below. Such as checking out my, me on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv, shrr95. I'm live streaming Friday, Saturday, Sundays. And that's about it for me for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.